In my last video I teased you a bit with my Breitling shopping trip and now I finally reveal my new watch. So as you have probably seen in the thumbnail and title of the video, I bought the Breitling R Aerospace EVO Blue Dial on bracelet. The reference for this watch is E79 363101C1 E1 and price is around $4,000. The Breitling R Aerospace EVO was launched in 1985 as an innovative multifunction chronograph with state-of-the-art Swiss technology. A super quartz caliber in the inside, a case and bracelet made of titanium and many more features we will come to later in the video. Makes this one of the best Breitling watches in my opinion and so I decided to buy one. Let us start the unboxing. The new Breitling watches come in these upcycled watch boxes. Those are folded into a box form but can also be transported completely flat. In the inside we find the user manual, not the most convenient one, and attached to it we have the warranty card. The cushion in the inside can be also used as a watch pouch for travel. And here is the watch. Still all stickers and bezel protector on it. So let's get rid of them to enjoy the full beauty of the watch. And here's the watch in its full glory. The bezel feels great in quality and rotates with only a small resistance, what I like. The watch has a case diameter of 43 mm, the lug to lug length is 52 mm and the lug width is 22 mm and a thickness of 10.8 mm. Great dimensions for a sports watch. It definitely doesn't feel too big for my 6.5 inch wrist. Let us set the watch. For that you go to the time mode via the crown and pull it out. The upper display now shows a T for time setting. Then you can do quick rotations of the crown to set the hours and slower rotations of the crown to set the minutes. Afterwards you push the crown back in to set it. Once you press the crown, the seconds start blinking and reset to zero. Quite simple to set the time for this quartz piece. Same logic applies to set the calendar. Besides the time, we have a chronograph function included, a second time zone, a countdown timer, alarm and a minute repeater. So everything you would expect from a quartz watch is included. The case and bracelet are fully made of titanium. The crystal is a sapphire with anti-reflective coating on both sides and the water resistance is 100 meters. The dial features hour and minute hand for an analog time display. The numerals at 12, 3, 6 and 9 o'clock are highly polished, applied and oversized. The other numerals are printed with loom. Prominent above the hands sits the applied Breitling Wings logo which was a must-have for me 
Breitling is connected to aviation and professional instruments. With the Wings logo, you know you get a watch from the professional lineup. Besides that, it looks great and much better than the single B. Below the hands, we have a print on the dial saying Breitling chronometer are aerospace. In addition to the analog display, the dial features two digital displays you can use for the complications or to read the time as well. The combination of analog and digital display makes the watch quite unique and recognizable as a true Breitling icon. Now with the new G-Shocks we see more manufacturers jumping on the train, but the Breitling is for me the OG of this watch style. 15, 30, 45 and 60 minute position on the bezel are polished, while the rest of the case and bezel is brushed. The crown is polished as well. The clasp is made of titanium as well, features four micro adjustments and has the Breitling logo engraved on it. A proper clasp even though it scratches itself on the outside while closing it. It would have been nice if Breitling could have avoided this with a different design that works more smoothly. Time for a loom shot. And the first wrist shot. Before we come to the verdict, a few insights why I chose a luxury quartz watch. Besides my opinion of the Breitling R Aerospace as an iconic watch, a quartz movement that is nicely packed can have its advantages. There is nothing to worry about it when it comes to servicing. And if you reach a certain amount of luxury watches, this will definitely become a factor to calculate. I sometimes also quickly change my watch due to different activities. And with this piece I never have to worry about setting it and last but not least I like the comfort of wearing a G-Shock but miss the feeling of a luxury timepiece at the same time. So I think this our aerospace can create a bridge between both worlds. And now we come to the watch score. So the watch dimensions are overall great for a professional sports watch. It is thin but has a nice diameter. The case is finished very well and you feel the quality in every aspect. The micro screws on the case back and bezel holding everything in place definitely impressed me from their finishing. The movement is a super quartz, but for today's quartz movements just slightly above average. The battery lifetime of 3 to 4 years is certainly nice. Nevertheless, you have to live with the fact that it is a quartz watch. The bracelet and strap is finished very well but a bit tricky to resize and doesn't taper enough in my opinion. Also the clasp would be nice with a smoother operation. For the daily usage this watch is perfect and also great for the sportive usage. For the weekend you might want a bit more of a dressy or luxurious piece but as this watch is still a bright link it will do a good job. Image and history are great as this watch is one of the, as I said, for me, iconic pieces that Breitling is offering. But even though uh, in today's world it is still a bit under the radar or people maybe forgot a bit about it. And I think it would actually deserve more attention. For the brand recognition many say Breitling is recovering, but comparing it to 30 years ago 
So at least what I remember from my generation when yeah, everyone was lusting for a Breitling Navi timer. I think in today's world, Breitling slipped down the ladder a bit and now is for example below Omega and more likely next to Tudor. Value for money is also good if you can live with a luxury watch that features a quartz movement. So all of that together gives the watch a total score of 69 out of 100 and by that it made my list. And with that we are at the end of the video guys. Let me know what you think about the watch. Do you agree on the watch score? Would you buy a quartz watch in that price range as well? Drop me a comment below and hopefully see you in my next video. Thank you for watching and bye bye.